Welcome, everyone, to the house that Rodney built. From Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus, the home of the Fighting Irish. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. Notre Dame lining up to kick off and get this one started. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Wolverines offense will have the first possession of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. And the Wolverines headed quickly to the line. Michigan really took it to Notre Dame the last time they met, and hail to the victors was playing loudly. It was playing loudly, and they beat the snot out of the Irish. And the Irish better not forget that. And it was the physicality of Michigan taking over. And the Irish going to be ready today. Yeah, Notre Dame was really upset. They just couldn't answer the bell. Everything seemed to snowball on them. One bad thing after another. They've got to be mentally tougher in this game. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. So the last thing you want to do is start the game, first drive, go three and out. They won't do that here. They might go four and out, but they'll try to convert here. They'll immediately call timeout. The Wolverines will punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Yeah, and again, call it shank, but I don't think he'll include it on his greatest hits. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. So Notre Dame's offense taking the full first chance we have to see there today. One thing to keep an eye on in this game, when they get a back isolated on a linebacker, who wins that matchup? The quarterback likes the matchup, but this linebacker, he's different. Man. Not only is he a hitter, he's got the athleticism to cover people, too. Normally you say that's a win for the running back. The running back and a linebacker, I win. But this guy is different. Interested to watch this match. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Quick release by the QB. And they pick up just a few on that completion. In this rivalry, you could just about write the history of the game. Rockney and Fielding Yo, Shim Beckler and Holtz, the Rocket and Desmond Howard. So many great moments in this rivalry, which has been played since the 1800s. So many great moments, so many great plays, great players. And how about the uniforms? Just clean beautiful pristine units this is just classic college football and because of all those names the pressure is effective from the defense they knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. oftentimes with play action you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer against this athletic front seven on defense it's going to be tough Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. He breaks a tackle. 
The Big Ten schedule sort of ate these guys up last year. They're looking for a better performance this time around. Yeah, and it eats a lot of people up, obviously, being such a tough conference. But if you look at the way you start the season, a lot of times, man, that's when you build your momentum. That's when you build your confidence. If you can hang around, be competitive, sometimes the way you start, Palmer, it just lays out the rest of the season for you. And they know they just got to be a lot more physical this year. That schedule did beat them up last year, but take a look at this year's schedule. A lot of those same teams, they're right there again. They're going to get another crack at them. They've got to be better in the trenches this season if they want to win a Big Ten championship. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Really? Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught close to the marker, it's Morris. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. And the Wolverines will hustle to the line. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on his third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Stands in and takes the hit. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wolverines. <clears throat> Let me eat all of them real quick. This is something you can't coach in quarterbacks. You either have to do it. Being able to deliver strikes like that for touchdowns when you know you are going to get absolutely popped, man, it is hard to find QBs like that. This offense has one. I got hit really hard on that. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7 0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with a 20 yard pass for six. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. Here come the Irish back on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that. He's going to throw deep right side. Oh, he dropped it. And what a missed opportunity early in this football game. There's no logical reason these two shouldn't play every year. The proximity, both powerhouses, but squabbles get in the way from time to time, guys. They sure do, and I think Notre Dame being an independent always makes things good. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. When you have the type of defensive lineman that Michigan has had over the years, you don't always have to send the house to get to the quarterback. No, it's a beautiful thing when you're a defensive coordinator, when you got big, strong studs like this. Year after year, Michigan always has a stable full of them, of guys that are athletic enough to, to rush the passer, but physical enough to play the run. It's a fun spot to be in as a DC. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Got his man downfield. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. But that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on? Fires one high and deep. And it's picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Mm -hmm. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. 
Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Colin. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. To the ground with the back. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Those who stay will be champions, so said Bo Schembechler, and those who keep it on the ground churn out first downs. Yeah, it's, it's because it's a way of life, right? It's that physicality. It's going to be hard in practice all week. When you're at Michigan, it's going to be grind. It's going to be physical. That's who they are. They won't compromise. If you get to stick around here recently, a lot of success, too. They'll leave it with him. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. <clears throat> back on the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. Quarterback will audible. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And that's what I love about this offense, man. They, they run the football and get first downs. They throw the football and get first downs. So much balance. That's why they're the number two offense in all of college football getting first downs. They are so hard to defend. Grab near the sticks. It's Morgan. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. The Wolverines will snap it on first and ten. Going to the ground. Can't get him to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. The play action fake. Looking for an open area to his left. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one, not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. On fourth down, going to the air. Got some room in Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Trying to pound it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Michigan! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. Lining up to add another. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Oklahoma is trailing, but don't tell me this team can't come back. I once saw Jalen Hurts lead the Sooners back from 28-3 down. We'll see what they're made of today. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to the Sharks. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The running back has it. 
Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And what you talk about on defense is speed, is penetration, getting in the backfield, making something happen. And you could tell they got in there so quick, the offense couldn't recover. Couldn't. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Well, for this defense, finally, you're seeing pressure on the quarterback. They're outside the top 50 in sacks per game. They've been waiting to find some more consistent pressure to help them win games. And they're getting it in this game now. Three sacks on the day. They're just simply winning and doing a better job executing up front at the point of attack. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. And this is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show you. Hit the afterburners, kid. Oh, I thought he was taking that all. Stop him at the seven. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Wolverines. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any game. What is this thing anyway? I don't know. She didn't like it. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor using a timeout here. Thinks the call is going to end up going his way. This coach wanted to be absolutely certain on a challenge. He was right. The previous play will be overturned. They give him the rock again on second and goal. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. Try to barge their way in. Riding toward the goal line. Defense falls. Turnover. As a defender, you dream about those. You, you work hard on it in practice, closing space, getting close, and just sticking that guy and causing the fumble. Let me see for a thing on that. Yeah, that was not a fumble. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum, cut it to a one score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. They'll try the run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. The Irish send out the punt unit. Oh, no, no, no. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. 
puts him in the spinner and moves on. <laughs> this guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. The offense starts with a short field. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Floating away. Now he'll fire back into the middle. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country. And Maybe it's fumble again. Because they've got a lot oh. of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score <clears> fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. The run from the shotgun. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, think of all the legendary players who've been a part of this game. And we have a few more vying for that status so far today in an always emotional showdown between the Fighting Irish and the Maize and Blue. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that, let's send it back to our guys in the booth to see how the fight between Michigan and Notre Dame plays out. The kickoff unit about Number to go to work. Set to kick this one away. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here come the Irish, back on offense. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive. It's like this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Might as well give it to him again. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Notre Dame lines up quickly. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Oh, and he just flat dropped it. You do not see this guy do that very often. It'll be fourth down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody on the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. To the air, it's Orgy. Makes his connection. 
Great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you gotta find a way to get a step, make it easy for the quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. They'll go to the ground. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays, then I can play action later on and take shots, but right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Forced out of the pocket. Makes a connection. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. And the Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Fast motion from the offense. The give is to Taylor. Drives ahead for three to the 27-yard line. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Off the play fake. Now sliding to his left. Grab near the marker. It's Morris. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the back. Pull down after a gain of five. It's at the nine-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll put the tight end in motion. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. Okay. offered the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Offense gets set for second down. The gift to the back. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Caught near the sticks, it's Morgan. Touchdown, Wolverine! And the pummeling has started. The maize and blue asserting itself as they stretch this lead against the Irish. Go Blue knew coming into this one, they had to score and score early. Right now, they are playing with so much energy. Yeah, they got the offense rolling. They got the momentum going. Notre Dame's going to have to do something quickly to change that. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with it. And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. And given up three sacks a week ago. Now you've already given up four sacks. They gotta find a way to protect their quarterback. Give him a little bit more time. And now they have enhanced their degree of difficulty on second and long from the six. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. On the ready. 
After the big first down sack, it's second down. Back to pass, it's Carr. Throws to the wideout. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. And how about this defense really answering the challenge so far today? This offense, you've seen like last week. I mean, they can throw for touchdowns and big yards and big chunk plays. Defense has answered the call, played the deep ball well, played discipline, making this offense really earn everything they get. Got it in the middle. It's Williams. Running wide open down the gut of the field. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Notre Dame! Man, the defense has got to be kicking themselves. They have the offense pinned back so deep in their own end. It's one thing to give up a completion, but you can't let the receiver go the entire distance and score a touchdown. Bad job on the back end by the D. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Number the kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and 10. Dances away from the heat. Back across his body and it's intercepted. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and then it back to his offense. Line gets set, first down. He'll start this drive firing. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal yeah, ride and he's got it right on the doorstep. Notre Dame has it now, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, it's been a surprise today for this offense. Like, coming into the game, we all talked about it. We thought they'd be able to run against this defense that's been run on a lot, and this offense just can't get the running game going. It'll be interesting to see what they do to try to change it up, but somehow, some way, they need that physical ground game. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. Power ahead. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. Absolutely perfect. Put a three spot on the board as we finish quarter number three. We've reached the end of the period and Michigan has the lead. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. <sighs> the deficit is huge. This one is all but over. But they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. The give to the tailback. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And the Wolverines want to move quickly. And he's done everything for this offense today, running the football so much so that he's now got 98 yards rushing. We're in the fourth quarter. One more carry, and this guy could eclipse the 100-yard mark. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. We talk a lot about this at quarterback, right? Hard focus downfield, soft focus around you. He wanted to throw that downfield. He just felt the pressure. He knew he had to get out of danger. He was able to do that, use his speed, go get north up the field for a first down. Well done. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Quarterback checking the play. Taylor has it. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Oh, oh, oh. 
Wide receiver now comes in motion. To the air, it's Orgy. He's moving out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Nothing but green ahead. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. The give as they work on that clock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Running back searching for a hole. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Touchdown, Michigan! And the route is on. With that, the lead nice and comfortable, and they're cruising toward a 4-0 start. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum oh, can man. be in these this types of rivalry good. games, David. So this game's still Let's far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys one that game. have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Central Michigan is in trouble. Check that. They're in a world of trouble because unless I'm reading that scoreboard wrong, that does not look very good. They're trailing by 21 to Maryland. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Us. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Let's see what they've got on second down. Looking to pass. It's Carr. Looking deep down the right side. Catch inside the 25. And he eluded the defense and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Fighting Irish! Well, I'm not sure who is closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question. Nice job. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. the play fake on first down he's gonna run it at the 40 there he goes and the ball's on the ground oh the offense averts absolute disaster by falling on that fumble the ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers qb's got to keep two hands on the ball as well they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. It's first down from the 37-yard line. On the run, it's Cross. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. He's looking to throw. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing.
on third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. On the move, he fires. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Catch in the middle. It's Morgan. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. And the Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Looking for a productive play on first down. Trying to start the drive with a pass. And he'll be knocked down at the two-yard line. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. From his end zone, needs to be careful here. The Heat got to him, and he just sort of froze and got tackled in the end zone for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. to come up with explosive plays and they use one there to set him up inside the 30 first and 10. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. What a snag by the defense. Trying to take it back. The 40. At the 20. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown Wolverines. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense too now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach hmm. might split I guess out a wide receiver better. next week after making hmm. that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. They'll try to add another to their lead. Oh, do you just hate to see it. Blew the extra point. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. This will not be returnable as it sails out of the back of the end zone. Here come the Irish, back on offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David, no question about that, but they can find some positive. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this, this was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, and hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David, but I'll say this, if you're on offense, don't go on social media this week, it ain't good. Pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He's taking a deep shot and trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And the returner will be brought down. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. 
With this big cushion they're working with, Jesse, they're ready to send these fans toward the exits. And you know the coaching staff has got to be so happy with how this... The freshman able to get home with the sack. The Wolverines are in the hurry up. To the air, it's Orgy. Scrambling away. And they can't hook up, going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Now they'll run it on the toss. And the Wolverines will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And after this play, the cake will be baked. He's going to pass. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. What a cannon this dude has for an arm. And there's nothing more frustrating than you watch a Hail Mary and they don't get it to the end zone or they throw it out of the back of the end zone. Great job by the quarterback. You got to put that thing way up in the air, and he does, and his receiver comes down with it. What a play. Of course, the game can't end on a defensive penalty, so we play on here with at least one more untimed down. And the extra point is good, means nothing to anyone unless you like to play games of chance. So they'll decline the penalty, please, with the results of that last play. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident. David, they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like you sometimes get overzealous, sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check and now bragging rights for a whole year. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports.